you married 12 years? 12 years, yes. Congratulations. Thank you. That is the hardest. So I won't even ask you about work-life balance because I don't know that it exists. Does, Does it, it exist? Does Does, it? Nobody. That's a fake. That's a that's a pan. That's like so fake. I like I like ban that that whole terminology. I don't think it, it's a mirage. Like you just be thirsty trying to find it in the desert. Like there is no work life balance. Not for women. Not now. Not the women I know. I heard you say a quote, and I and I don't want to mess your quote up. But you saying something about juggling. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I always say um, I like I don't want to be doing too much at once. Right? It's like juggling balls in the air, and that's what clowns do. Like I'm not in the circus. I'm interested in being a clown. I was like, what I try to do is be in a batting cage and like knock that thing out the park in that moment. I'm with my daughter at the, just a Tuesday night at the science fair. I'm gonna be in the science fair caring about her, her project. In that moment, I'm in a room with my new cannabis business negotiating a hundred million dollar deal and be all the way in that moment. And you gotta know when you're in that moment, something's suffering. It's just not, it's just, you just can't do anything about it. It just is what it is. So you may as well, knowing that, just get the most you can out of that moment that you're in. You know, we're talking about you, but I wanna, I wanna turn the table for a second, right? You're talking about being in a specific moment. You must have the best husband on the planet. He was say right? so. He was say so. <laughs> you know, so many men, I don't know what he does for a living, right? But so many men are threatened by successful women. And you work around the clock, you're traveling, you are CEO. This man, <laughs> where'd you find him? <laughs> <laughs> Literally Disney World. Like we met at Disney World <laughs> um, in Orlando at a conference um, a long time ago. Uh, and it's funny because I was in a relationship and I kept trying to hook him up with my friend. I was no like, no, no, way. no, I don't want to date you. But I got my friend, oh, you're going to love her. He was like, I don't want to date your friend. <laughs> like for years, like for years. Um, well, I think my husband's successful in his own right. He's in pharmaceuticals and uh, legit you know, with a Japanese company. And um, he's very confident. I think that's what you need, right, on his own. And I think the partnership is, I think it's better than, you know, everybody has to go their own way. But I do think I am still an advocate for, like, relationships matter. And things you could do together, to me, are incremental than what you could do apart. Whether that's with, like, to me, like, my friends, the things that I can get done with, with their thought partnership, um, and encouragement, I know, is more than I could do individually. Um, so, yeah, it's certainly been a blessing to have um, such a great husband. It's not been easy. I mean, when we got <clears throat> we got married, our wedding was seven days after Puff's white party. If you're familiar with that, so I planned this white party in the Hamptons, two white parties, his white party and my wedding, and um, it was very, you know, it was very challenging. I told him actually at the time, I was like, well. Um, cause we, I lived in Atlanta at the time. So he'd asked me to move to Atlanta when we got married. I was like, well, I'm going to commute for like six months to a year and then I'll find something in Atlanta. And that was like 2007. So <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, that was the real fake out that you gave me when we got married. Um, but I also, I, I believe deeply in relationships in many ways. This is probably very, <clears throat> again, counterintuitive to what way people uh, move today. I'm old fashioned in the sense that I do, for the most part, feel like the man is the head of household unless he needs to be overthrown, right? Uh -huh. like, you know what I mean? So I operate, I, I try to be like a great wife. You know what I mean? I also feel like, to the intensity of the moment that you're in, I'm, I'm appreciative of what he brings to the table. I treat him as a leader of our household, and, um, and, and he deserves it. So I think, you know, that's, that's work for us. When we first got married, I was very um, appreciative. He literally set up different couples who had been married for like 20 years, 40 years, 60 years. And like for the first year we got married, we'd like go to dinner with all these different couples and just ask them you know, their secrets. And this is legit, is a rainy thing was like one of us traveled all the time. I was like, okay, so we nailed it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like we stayed married for 60 years because one of us was always going to have this <laughs> So uh, that, has, that has worked for us. <laughs> so nice, good for you. And congratulations you. on 12 years. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.